Hello, Mr. Jude. Hey, Manny. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And a very big congrats on the order. It's a thinking man or woman's action thriller that is very relevant today. I love it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So take us from the very beginning. You start as FBI agent Terry Husk, but you also produced the film. What interested you to making The Order? The script just had so much potential. Um, it was it was a story I hadn't heard, and I, and, and I was surprised that, that that few people had heard of this um, this particular case in the early eighties. Um, it was it was clearly uh, relevant now. So it had this sort of dual sweet spot of being a historical piece that also had um, a real sense of, uh, 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 of, of, of the present. And it had the potential to be a genre film, a thriller, a, 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 the kind of film that, you know, is both gripping for an audience and moving. And as you say, you know, it, it makes you think the director is, is very, very good in this area. He has made films in the past like this where, you know, he looks at why people behave they, the way they do. Why do they? Why have they made the decisions they've made? What's the community around them done to steer them that way? And uh, he doesn't judge. He lays it out, and I, I think it's a very intelligent way of telling a story. And um, so it was just a piece I, 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 I was just excited to be a part of, and it, it seemed important. It felt important to tell the story. You're absolutely correct. Director Justin Carzell is very good at uh, examining the psychology of violence. But mm. um, I love the dynamics here between you and Nicholas Holt's Bob Matthews. I mean, it's mm. like the yin and the yang, right? Talk to us about their dynamics here. Yeah, I think I think you're absolutely right. There's a there's a there's an odd sort of mirror image here of two men motivated down different, very different paths, but with very similar propulsion. They both got kind of focused. They both driven and willing to um, sacrifice their, their their lives in a way for their cause, and yet they happen to be going in different directions. Um, you know, there's also this sense of the unknown. He doesn't know who's hunting him, and I don't know who I'm hunting. And it's very, we only, we only have two scenes together when we finally kind of come face to face. Um, and uh, that sort of attention dramatically is wonderful to play out, you know. You know, I love all the characters here, but I think one of the most important characters here is Alan Berg, right? The Denver talk radio host yeah. murdered the order. He had a lot of wisdom. I mean, one of the things that got stuck with me is when he said, we're a great country, but we're trapped in our minds. So it's all it's a very cautionary tale. Talk to us about that. Yeah, we always saw Alan's, you know, presence and words as being like an angel over this story, because obviously his assassination is at the heart of really what got the FBI um, on track and focused uh, as to the potential of this organization. And, you know, he was outspoken and known for being, you know, one of those early um, shock jockeys, maybe the wrong term, but, you know, he was he was a motivated conversationist and provoked conversation on, on air. Um, but his assassination was, you know, an appalling attempt to silence and, and um, and a racist uh, uh, attack, um, but but his words we hope will be remembered, and we've got the brilliant you know Mark Maron playing him. It couldn't have been in better hands um, to just try and bring some life back to uh, a man who was you know ahead of his time in many ways. Exactly, I do love the end shot of you. By the way, here it's like listen, mm. or you'll get shot. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love that. So a big congrats on the Thank order you. again. A great cautionary tale, and I'm hoping people will listen. Thank Fingers you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jude. Bye, Manny.